Photoshop can eliminate love handles by using the liquify tool. Let's get started. The data file that we'll be using for this exercise is called lovehandles.psd. Once you've opened the file, go ahead and click on the filter menu. Afterwards, select liquify. When selecting the liquify filter, your image is going to open up in its own gallery. Now, if you look to the left of the liquify gallery, you're going to see its own set of tools. And the one that we're going to use in order to diminish the love handles is called the pucker tool. If it's not already selected, go ahead and select it now. Now, just like the other tools in just regular Photoshop, this tool also has a brush size. So let's change our brush size in order to fit it to the areas that we want to edit. To change the brush size, you can click and drag the brush size slider, or you can directly type in the brush size into the text box. Another way to change your brush size is to hover your mouse over where it says brush size. And when your cursor turns into a double-headed arrow, just drag it to the left in order to decrease the brush size and drag it to the right in order to increase the brush size. We'll set the brush size to about 50. Afterwards, locate your first love handle, then click along the edge to pucker in the love handle. Continue to do this to get a seamless contour of the waist. Now let's move to the other side and repeat the same thing. You can also click and drag the mouse in order to pucker the love handle inward. If you see any other bulges that you'd like to diminish or pucker, go ahead and do so. If you're satisfied with the changes you've made, go ahead and click on the OK button. To see the before and after, let's open the History panel by going to the Windows menu and selecting History. Now in the History panel, click on the Open State to see what the image looked like before you apply the Liquify filter to it. Then to go back to apply the changes, click on the Liquify State. 